Hi everyone, my name is Michelle White and this is my tutorial on the stream schedule which is actually located in the player application. Now before we sort of just kind of deep dive right in, it's really important to understand what the stream schedule is. Um, sort of different terminologies I've heard is stream schedule, player stream, or even a content stream. Um, they're really all sort of the same exact same thing, um, but as you can see in the Reach CMS, we sort of refer to it as a stream schedule. Now essentially what, what is it? Um, a lot of people do get confused on sort of this feature, and to better explain it, um, let's just explain it as if you were to have one screen. So here you are, you've installed your one screen, um, and then of course you have some sort of player behind it. Now the player is obviously connected to the screen, the screen has power, and when you get that player to sort of have some sort of internet connection, the player starts to communicate with our system, right? It says, okay, Reach, I'm online, the screen is black, what layout do I need to run? Layout or essentially layouts. And most of our clients, right, they kind of have the one layout that runs on every single player, but there might be sort of scenarios or situations where you might have multiple layouts. Um, always the scenario I explain to our clients is menu boards, um, only because it's sort of an easy one to sort of wrap around, but you know, when you're dealing with menu boards, you might have a breakfast menu that ends at 10.30, and then you might have a lunch menu, and then you might have a dinner menu. Um, that's where you would schedule it out in sort of the stream schedule. Now, one thing too, just kind of keep in mind, you guys, is that when you're dealing with sort of the stream schedule, um, I personally encourage our clients to make sure that you name your player, your stream schedule, and this is actually the name of the layout, you guys, where it says Reach Marketing here. I always encourage everyone to make sure that they're sort of laying all of this the exact same thing. And the reason why I encourage that is that if you're dealing with sort of a large network, it just makes it easier to troubleshoot in any ways. Um, as you can see, as I'm clicking right here, it says Michelle's Desk. I've got a stream schedule called Michelle's Desk. I even have a layout called Michelle's Desk. Um, and obviously the same thing with the touch screen. And what's also nice to you guys is that if you ever go into the layout editor, Here's the name of my layout, and now I know exactly what player this guy is running at. Um, it's just sort of a nice little visual cue without having to sort of do too much work to kind of find out what's going on. Um, also keep in mind too that if you want to put more information, I mean I can totally understand maybe Michelle's desk and, and reach marketing, right? It's not giving you guys enough information. Um, keep in mind that you always have the property tab and you can put information in the building and in the location section. Um, otherwise, yeah, you guys can definitely do like 005, or I know some clients like to sort of label their players by numbers. That's completely fine. Um, just make sure sort of your stream schedule and your layout sort of follow those rules. All right, so let's kind of go back to this reach marketing here. Um, so yeah, as you can see, you guys, I've already sort of created these stream schedules for you. So the question is, how do I, you know, how do I create one? So once the player is created, you guys, and that is something that reach has to do for you, once we create the player, you guys have every right to go in here and sort of play with the stream schedule. Um, so how do I create one? So right up here, you guys, in the, the top right, um, there's a button that says New Stream Schedule. And this is where I would sort of enter the name. Now, in this tutorial, I'm just going to be kind of lame, and I'm just going to sort of do Test 001. Um, but know that this naming field, it's a little sensitive. Um, unfortunately, you can't do like hashtags or question marks or even hyphens. Um, so just kind of be aware of sort of how you're labeling it. You will sort of get a nice little warning here. I'll kind of show you a nice little warning if you don't label it correctly. Okay, so just kind of keep in mind it is a little sensitive there. All right, so you guys, I'm just going to name this one test 001 and I'm going to hit OK. All right, now look at this. So we have the stream schedule, but it's not filled in in blue, right? So I've, I've started to create the stream schedule, but I still haven't really told the player what layout I want to run. And so there's sort of two ways to do this. I can just click anywhere in this timeline, or what I can do is just drag. And I don't know why, but for whatever reason, I personally have gotten into the habit of just dragging. Now you can see sort of this modal pops up. I can select my layouts. So again, I, and technically, um, I should have one that says test 001. But again, for this tutorial, I'm just going to sort of select the first one. And then when do I want it to run? And then what days? Now, one thing you guys I just want to kind of point out as well is that if I have this layout running, let's just say not on Friday and Saturday, and let's just say I forget to sort of fill in those two days, what's going to happen is that on Friday and Saturday, 
your screen is actually going to be completely black and then there will be white text that says no content is run right now. So make sure that you guys are really are filling in all the gaps. Um, again, I know that we have some clients that they don't open until 10 o'clock and they're totally fine with just having sort of that black screen display until that time. Um, this tab right here, you guys, is called the Start and End Events. So we are actually able to do an RS-232 command types. Um, it does only work for commercial grade screens. And just as essentially what it is, you guys, is it allows us to sort of push commands down to your TV screen where it just turns off or turns on or volume up, volume down. Um, there's really a lot of cool features about that. And if you want to learn more, definitely give your sales rep or even your account manager a call. Um, but yeah, so essentially that is what that tab is right there. All right, so I am going to sort of modify this a little bit just so I can continue to sort of teach you guys and that way you can kind of see different looks um, throughout our content stream. So I have this layout and I'm actually only gonna run it from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., but I'm gonna do it every single day and I'm just gonna hit okay. All right, so as you can see, you guys, that's kind of what it would look like. Um, and then I would just fill in the remaining gaps. So maybe I say, all right, here's my master layout, um, but right after that, I want a different layout. And once again, guys, keep in mind that you can drag or you can simply just click in. Um, that's just sort of my way is just to drag. And then I'm gonna say, okay, I want this layout to run right after 3 p.m. And I want it to run until 7 p.m. Um, but after that, you know, we're closed. So I, I don't care if I have the black screen. All right, so let's just kind of add a couple more scenarios on here so you guys can really and truly understand the content stream. Um, so that's one way to have multiple layouts running throughout the day. Now, let's just kind of double click in here and you can see we have another little feature here. It says add layout. So now I can have actually multiple layouts run during this time frame, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., but I can have it switch every, you know, 60 seconds. Or maybe I want this one to show up 120 seconds. Now, keep in mind, guys, when you are dealing with multiple layouts like this, it's really important to understand sort of how the widgets essentially work um, and how or, or not really how, but really when to use this. So let me sort of paint a scenario for you. That way I can better explain this. So let's just say we have this, this L1, okay? This guy is our master layout and this blue box represents our playlist. Our playlist is full of videos, PowerPoints, and JPEGs. It, it's a playlist, right? It just sort of loops. And in this playlist, I have 10 assets, okay? So it just runs those 10 assets and kind of keeps kind of going over and over and over. And for whatever situation, you say, all right, I want this guy to run for 30 seconds and then I want this one to, I want it to switch to this layout. And this is a new playlist, okay? Completely new playlist, has its own 10 assets. Now, if you are in our stream schedule and you're dealing with this duration, right? 30 seconds, 30 seconds, but your loop time for that playlist maybe is two minutes and this guy is a minute. If you're only giving that layout 60 seconds or 30 seconds, I'm not gonna see all of your assets, right? Because what's gonna happen, you guys, is that it's gonna play this for 30 seconds and then it's gonna flip to this one for 60 seconds and then back to 30. When it goes back to the 30, it's gonna start from basically asset number one. So I'll never see all of your content. So keep in mind that something like that, we probably don't wanna utilize this sort of feature. Now where people do sort of find success in this is maybe they want sort of social media to be full screen. Um, I always call it sort of like a commercial break. So again, I've got my master layout running right here. It's guys running for, you know, two minutes, three minutes. Um, and then every, I don't know, every three minutes, I want this full screen social media takeover for 30 seconds. That would be something where you would want to utilize this. So hopefully I explained that pretty well or gave you guys enough sort of scenarios to kind of explain it. Um, but essentially guys, that is the player stream or sorry, stream schedule or also like I said earlier, content stream. So if you guys have any additional questions, definitely give us a call. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you.